What's up, everybody? Kalka here. And today we're going to talk about the good, the bad, and maybe what we could fix for season six mid season patch because the vessel of hatred in season six goes on to January 21st. So we're going to need to make sure that we have a good mid season patch to keep players engaged with this game, especially with games like Path to Exile 2, 2 coming out. So, what I want to talk about first is the no Hantu, the new zone area. So I really haven't had a reason to explore much of the different world. You know, I did a couple of the strongholds to get my maxed out renown, but that's about it. So didn't really explore the land or anything like that. More just you know, out the renown and call it good. But there were some cool updates. So you do get the new Undercity. And so you come here to the Undercity and you could use one of these tributes and at the end of the run, you'll get a chest that has pretty good rewards for what tribute you put in. So uh, the one that is very popular is the tribute of Titans. And this tribute actually gives you boss summoning mats. It's actually really good. And these runs only take four to five minutes to do. Maybe a little bit longer if you're not like a Sork or a, a Spiritborn. But generally, only four to five minutes to do. So you'll probably get at least one boss run out of doing this. And you'll have mats from other boss runs so you're gonna have 10 of these you're probably gonna be able to run 15 to 20 boss runs if you just do 10 so that's like minutes of, of actually running these tributes uh can bargain with it what i found out to be the best bargain is often to legendaries because something we'll talk about later is the offense aspects are really hard to max out so hopefully you could get lucky and get a, a new offense as aspect if for your uh, codex of power I've gotten a couple doing this, and this is the best route I've found to get offensive aspects. So I do like this. A couple things I will say about the Undersea that needs to be resolved is I really love when I do get one of these tributes, like the Tributes of Radiance. There's also a unique one, but it is very rare to get these. Maybe there needs to be a way to purchase these through like Citadel Coins or there's through your mercenary you could get them but only way you could get these if you scroll down is rarely from the whisper caches so i'm not saying they need to make ancestral legendaries drop every second but let's give more of these so we could do more farming to get more ancestral legendaries so there's not a great way to make sure that you're farming the Ancestral Legendaries, the best. You know, do the Infernal Hordes isn't terrible. You haven't gotten lucky in the pits, but some people have told me they get lucky in the pits with the uh, items. And then if you have these, they're the absolute best way, but they're so, so rare. So the Undercity. Now the Dark Citadel. The Dark Citadel has three different wings. And once you complete all three wings for each week, you get a weekly reward and you get a bonus chest. So I haven't done it this week, so I will get this bonus chest. That chest does have GA items in it as well, but it is only once a week. So you're not going to get a ton of those. Uh, um, they have the actual vendor, the Dark Citadel vendor. I've pretty much looked through all this and bought most of it. And the crafting or the gear cache is okay. I've gotten GAs out of it. But other than that, there's a damage incense but it's very expensive 1600 i've done this four times now and i only had like six thousand so this is only for 20 minutes at least increase this to an hour or something like that so we could actually have the incense a lot longer because i think the rewards need a little bit need, need to be better in the dark citadel the rewards have to be better it takes about 45 minutes to an hour depending on how strong your group is to run the three wings of the dark citadel and i do not think the rewards are worth it it is very fun i have a good time doing it but it's not something that i want to continue to repeat because the rewards are very lackluster so i would say that if we can increase the rewards to the dark citadel it would be much better and i think that each season the dark citadel needs to change the boss structure so we don't have to do it in the mid-season patch but i would say the rewards need to change they need to improve and people will enjoy doing the dark citadel much more 
this is something that I really enjoyed that they did change because Trio Whispers is very good loot. You get a lot of materials and it should be something you should be doing quite often, especially that's the only way we get those tributes we were talking about. So they did make it where now I can make an do an Infernal Horde and get five Trio Whispers when it is the Grim Favor. I could also do things like bosses. So right now, Greg Gore's the Grim Favor boss. So it's not just Nightmare Dungeons and Helltides. They also have different things. I wish they would make it the pit once in a while. I didn't see it on the pit ever yet. I think that should be a thing. So giving us more options to get whisper caches is really good i think there should, should be even more options if we're not going to increase the drop rates of the actual legendary ancestral tributes for the undercity so there has to be more ways we could actually get these these tributes or more trio whispers faster and i think that would be really beneficial as well so then we have the seasonal mechanic right so we have the zekarim remains so you battle in play monsters in the seething realms and you get reputation i think this shouldn't have stopped they should have always left this reputation going just like they did last season and you get legendary caches with guaranteed gas in them when you hit that reputation point this would be another option for us to get more ancestral items and it would give us a reason to continue to do the realm walker event so once you hit 300 paragon points which might be a while for a lot of us you could actually have a reason to go do that still where right now I, I want to do the actual realm walker to get the extra 15 percent bonus of experience so the realm walker is a pretty cool place all right so here we are in the seething realm we're doing the season quest mechanic and they have these little portals here and you can click these little portals and you can go inside these little por portals and here's what you get so let's look so we got some mobs. Oh, we got a slay for 41 seconds. So now you're going to have to listen to me talk for 41 seconds before we get this. But the idea is, I don't know if anyone's gotten anything really cool when they've done these, but I want to come in this portal and I want to see like a Duriel and a Gregor and I have to fight both of them or three butchers or and treasure goblins like if we're gonna take these portals like make something crazy happen when we enter it i want to see an andario i want to see something really nuts happen like and it's just not every time you know it's not every time but i want it to happen once a time so like let's see we got some mobiles and a non-ga item of course yeah nothing really great there right so let's go in the other one it's right next door so we'll go in it cool what's in this one here there's just a couple mobs we kill them and what do we get a couple mobs sweet two iron chunks yeah make it interesting like have some freaking varshan flying out <laughs> tag it in gregor or freaking lord zur like have something crazy happen that would be a lot cooler you can make it much better with surprises like you're surprised that this happened you're like wow like now it's just like yeah that's cool there's a seasonal mechanic but i want to i want to enter this portal and something crazy happens and now let's talk about the classes a little bit let's talk about the classes a little bit so what did they do they gave us a spirit born spirit born we knew was going to be way up here right way up here way higher than any other class and that that was a given right it costs money to buy the expansion you're playing a spirit born you're getting a character that's going to be way overpowered that's fine do your 150 pits cool but i think that there should be some balance around completing pits with every other class so if 105 pit is going to be this the point the break point where i could upgrade all my glyphs to 100 so i got all the gear that i wanted i got it ancestral i got good tempers i got good gas on my gear i got it 12 out of 12 master worked and i have really good gear but it's really a struggle for me to kill a 105 pit that it doesn't feel good i spend hours and hours on my barbarian my necro or my rogue and it's still a struggle 
to do a one up high pit so I can max my glyphs out. That that doesn't feel good. So hopefully in this mid season patch, make buffs to classes or builds for each class where they feel good about doing a one up five pit. Because if you spend hundreds of hours on your character and you can't complete the the 105 pit which gets you 100 glyphs that doesn't seem too fair when you see the spiritborn doing 150s don't nerf the spiritborn keep them where they're at just bring us up a little bit all the other classes and it'll be much much better so i hope that happens the 105 pits is the break point it's 70 percent chance to upgrade from 93 and up once you get to 105 so it's something I hope they uh, address in the midseason patch so uh, we can make sure that we can play any class and max out the build the way we want to max out the build. So that's my plug about the classes. Let's make them a little bit better. All right, let's address the material issue. So there is an iron chunk rawhide issue. I got a decent amount right now, but I was farming some bosses. So they did just buff it in a recent patch, which is fine. But I will tell you what, I spent way more time farming iron chunks and rawhide than I have obdesite. Let me tell you what I mean by that. So I could get way more obdesite quicker than I could get rawhide and iron chunks. So that doesn't really make sense to me. It should be a balance, right? If it's gonna take me 10 hours to get 100K obdesite, it should take me 10 hours to get 100K iron chunks and rawhide. They should be balanced together. So I've done way more bosses and spent more time doing bosses than Infernal Hordes farming Obdesite. So it should be a balance between it. They need to figure out how the balance is there. So if I spend five hours, I should be able on both, on farming Obdesite, five, five hours on farming Iron Chunks, I should be able to have those materials matched when I want to upgrade items. And then do upgrading items. They still haven't listened. This would be a great idea. Let's do it. So let's say I have this staff, right? And I got rank four and rank eight into fireball. And I've talked about this many times. And I'm going to continue to talk about this every season until they fix this or make make a change. If I reset this, it goes back to one. And I, oh my gosh, getting one, getting four and eight on fireball is just, it's not a lot of fun, right? It takes a lot of time, right? So I think that you should be able to reset it back to eight or reset it back to four or reset it back to one. I don't think you should have to continue to reset this back to one. That would be such a better idea for master working. You'd use a lot less materials too, uh, which would be nice. And you could actually upgrade the gear you want and make a lot of different builds. And that would be very, very useful. So hopefully that's something they take a look at. I'm going to continue to talk about it and hopefully that that changes farming aspects is tough man I, I don't have any aspects that are fully ranked up yet i'm not sure what the intentions was with the getting a full aspect of 35 percent or getting a full aspect of 68 percent i'm not really sure why they didn't want able to get these aspects maxed uh, i think that that is uh kind of like a problem because you only can get it on GA items and GA items barely drop. So I think legendary items should have the potential to have a, a, a max potential of the aspect range. We'll see. Hopefully. That's something I hope they change. Speaking of unique items, whoever got a triple or a quad unique item, and this one's not bad, but got the worst aspect stat on that item. I've deleted them. I, I should have kept them for a video like this, but I've deleted them. I've gotten quad GA Hellrashes, and it was like a 10%. Make the minimal higher for the quad and the triples and the doubles so we could actually use the items that we farmed for hours for. Hours and hours and hours farming items, and then we get it, and it's not going to work because it's a measly 10x multiplier on the damage or a measly 20 out of 40 or i've gotten gloves illuminator with a 70 percent with triple ga 70 percent 30x damage is not worth to use over the triple ga so that would be great mid-season patch i would love it i would absolutely love it
the runes have a lot of potential and i think they can do a lot of cool things with the rune system right now i feel like it's hard to keep some of the rune uptime consistently on some builds so some builds are better than others it depends how you're doing it i'm sure the spirit porn you can just keep up time all the time but with the uh, runes they need to make it where you could actually take a legendary rune and make it rare notes rare runes and a rare rune and make it into magic runes because you can do the opposite way i can make rare runes out of magic runes and i can make a legendary rune possibility out of rare runes so they need to reverse it so if we need some magic runes we are able to bust some of the rare nodes and then same thing with the rare nodes if we need to bust some of the legendary runes i wanted to share a few some of the thoughts hopefully some uh people if this video gets liked and shared and you know commented on you know hopefully some people from blizzard see like okay yeah we got some ideas for you we're gonna bring it to the we're gonna bring it to you Kalpka. we're gonna we're gonna bring it to everyone so i'm excited to see what's gonna happen oh another treasure album that's good that's it see random treasure just one got me excited like what if they gave me five what if i when i went in there and it gave me five what if that happened It'd be absolutely nuts I don't know where that, did that, that dude left or what? Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate the support. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Kepka videos. And we will talk soon. Later.